Well, now to a company that counts the likes of Google, Microsoft, Spotify and Twitter among its customers. GWI is an audience insights company that provides data about consumers' demographics, preferences and behaviour attitudes across 48 different countries and provides it to the world's top brands. Well, today GWI announced it's raised more than $180 million in new funding. The founder and chief executive is Tom Smith and he joins me now. Tom, very good morning to you. This is only the second time you've received external funding. Why now? Um, really, we've seen tremendous demand for our products, uh, through the, particularly in the last two years through the pandemic, uh, as you know, businesses across the world are looking for you know, much better understanding of their consumers and a deep understanding of how their markets are changing very rapidly. Um, and we've seen this huge demand and it, it, the money is, we've, we've taken this investment to help us scale and, such, you know, tap into that demand worldwide. A lot of people watching this will be astonished that uh, a British company has anything to teach the likes of Google or Twitter at all about uh, how they use data. You, you better explain what it is you do and how you do it. Uh, yeah, so we're, as you said, we're an audience insights company and we've built technology that allows us to collect the opinions of millions of people through surveys uh, at scale. So we're directly collecting their opinions, attitudes, uh, preferences, needs, wants, uh, data on their products and purchasing. And this is simply data you cannot source through analytics or uh, you know, uh, tracking or other forms of data collection that bit these big companies might employ. Um, it's cl completely unique. And we've really, we've seen demand for this sort of data accelerate in the last couple of years. Um, and as people need to build a, a more detailed understanding of their audiences across the world, uh, the traditional way of doing this is market research. And market research has been basically proved to be completely, uh, it just doesn't work in the global age. It's too slow, too expensive, and costs millions of dollars to, to build a picture of your consumer across the world. So increasingly, they're coming to us for our solutions where we provide instantaneous access to very large uh, data sets through uh, a platform we provide that anyone can use. Uh, and we're providing that to all of these large companies. And, the, and that's the edge that you have over traditional market research firms then? Yeah, it's really about, um, you know, if, you, if you're running market research, it's a very slow, very expensive. And if, you are, if, you're, if your audience is in multiple markets across the world, it's going to cost you hundreds, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to build that data set. Now, our technology builds and aggregates this data in advance. So if you log into the platform that we provide our customers, that data is already there and we can provide it at a fraction of the cost and it's instantaneously available. Without giving away too many trade secrets, Tom, what, what sort of things are you talking about here? Well, kind of the types of data. So it's, it's really wide ranging. We collect, you know, hundreds of thousands of data points from millions of consumers and it might cover everything from attitudes, lifestyles, uh, to products they buy, um, or we look at really topical things like uh, we're providing data to our customers around consumer uh, attitudes around the pandemic, uh, returning to work, you know, consumer adoption of blockchain, uh, immersive gaming, everything that's very relevant and new. Um, and to give you an example of how this might be utilized. So, as you said, we work with companies like Google. They'd want to provide the data to, to help explain their audience to advertisers. So when they're pitching for advertising. Or we work with very small companies as well. We recently started working with a, a small coffee company that want to understand how to reach high-end coffee consumers worldwide and how they can ship their products to you know, multiple markets across the world. It sounds like the sort of thing that the political parties would give their eye teeth for. Have you been approached by any of them for, for your, your service? Uh, no, we typically work with... Um, so our, our buyers are typically in marketing. And we work with uh, marketing services agencies, uh, big publishers, as said, people like Google who are selling advertising. Uh, and we work with you know large brands and small brands around around the world, who you know utilize the data to understand their audiences in very deep and uh, you know deep and detail. Essentially, um, we're not typically working with uh, political parties and haven't done to date. Right. 
Uh, I, I bet you they'll be beating a path to your door eventually, Tom. I mean, looking at your websites, you've got uh, you're in most of the developed markets around the world. Are there any gaps in your coverage right now? Places that you'd like to be that you aren't currently? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're committed, and part of this investment is to enable us to continue to scale our data collection worldwide. So, we're currently in 48 countries, um, many of which are very underrepresented in data collection. So, we cover data and collect, uh, you know, really. Uh, expansive data in across Africa, South America, Asia Pacific, and we will be adding more markets over time. Uh, we're going to go past 50 markets this year, and we're also very committed to adding and and ensuring that we collect data on all you know all demographic groups, many of which are very underrepresented in existing uh, market research. Okay, Tom, big day for you. Thanks very much for uh, spending a part of it with us. Thank you. Thank you.